I have gone live. Um, a uh, bit of an impromptu one, really. I'm working my way through my backlog and realised there's bits of stuff I haven't shown you from previous holes. So as holes are a bit thin on the ground, for most of us, unless you're in Wales and hit the mother load of uh, <laughs> supply. Um, so I thought I may as well show you what I've got, keep you all amused over a lunchtime. Because um, I guess you've all been working incredibly hard this morning. So, uh, so uh, I'll wait till a couple of people come in. I ought to actually tell people I'm going live because I'm a bit stupid at not doing that. So let's just put that out there. And uh, if, oh, people are here already. Well, wow. oh, hello, Susan. How are you? Hope you're keeping well. And now 33 misses, uh, Carrie, I believe. <laughs> Indies listing Christmas stuff. Well, good for you, Louise. Um, you know, you're not going to go wrong with Christmas stuff. People clearly want it. It's a very odd lockdown, though. Um, I've had to go out to do my post and to go to my uh, sort of stock lock-up garage. Hello, Cranny Kate. Hello, Lisa J. Well, everyone's around on a Monday afternoon. Um, and there just seems to be more people about than one would expect. Um, yeah, it's definitely a milder lockdown than previous ones. I think a lot of it is the fact that a large number of shops are open that you wouldn't necessarily think were the most important. Now, I'm not one to cast dispersions, but fireworks as a shop that sells nothing but fireworks. And there was a big queue outside it all over the weekend. Very strange. Oh, no, don't put me on the big telly. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I haven't got any face paint on. <laughs> Oh, hello, Claire. I have a Claire count <laughs> of one. I'm not hijacking my idea. Hello, Sue. Lovely to see you there. You've been keeping yourself busy lately. Has everyone seen Sue's, seen Sue's tidy up uh, videos? They're making me feel very ashamed. <laughs> so I hope everybody's keeping well and, and not too bored. Like I say, it does seem, does seem a little bit like lockdown light in these parts because everyone's out and about. There's traffic. Kids are going to school. It's just... I'm trying to stay home a bit more. I'm on the laptop. That That's better. I mean, you know, we don't want to scare small children and animals. Seriously. <laughs> Hello, Rachel B. Oh, people are out and about. Excuse the rustling. Um, I was getting to the point where I'm, I've been listen, creating drafts like a demon. And yes, there are many. Um, I've actually realised, and some of you might want to check this if you schedule things, sometimes, sometimes it, will suddenly tell you it's lost the pictures. So I've been doing that this morning, which was an unplanned activity, if I have to go back through my pictures and reconnect them up with the draft. Um, probably because the drafts have been there a little while, but um, yes, um, and I now need to go and double check that some listings haven't gone live that may be missing their gallery picture and therefore you're just faced with a couple of blank gray squares, which doesn't show your product off to its best. So that's my job for today, which wasn't a planned one. And I'm going around to see somebody. I'm taking some food around to them. So um, my lovely jewellery friend, um, Anne, put in a request and I managed to get some of the things that she wanted. And uh, so I've got to drop those off this afternoon. It doesn't feel like a full lockdown this time. It's very, very strange. Um, the thing is, I do live near to several shops we have a, a load of these sort of slightly out of town shops near us and home bargains is still open mcdonald's is still open for drive throughs i believe is it drive throughs or takeaways anyway they're, they're obviously still running uh i i don't know if the camping shop is still open but i can't see why it would be seriously uh we've got like i said home bargains the bum shop b and m uh marks and spencers of course that has to stay open because they'd be There'd be public mutiny on the streets of Tunbridge if they shut that. Um, so there's a lot of shops open. Yeah, definitely. I would say the same. I mean, you know, I'm, it's not my place to judge, but uh, but I'm very pleased that Lex has been out and you've been to the charity shops. Good. I, you know, I'm really pleased for you because, you know, you've been through it. And I know there's a bit of retail therapy that's required there. And I hope you found lovely things. And I fully expect a haul because you're one of the few people that can do them. My haul is slightly outdated, but it hasn't been seen because I did double check. I hate going back and looking at my 
videos. I, I don't do that. Hello, Shelley. Nice to see you here. Did see you see you this morning, see me at daily vlogs. And I think I think keeping something going online is, is helping keep people's spirits a little bit. So I'm I'm trying to do my bit. I'm trying to do my bit. So I've got a few things to show. I'm not going to show everything today. Um because as you know, I filled my boots before before the lockdown because I just had this funny feeling that it was going to come. So I think I've worked out that not including some jewellery. <coughs> lots of that I've probably got enough to keep me listed until the beginning of February listing some every day on my schedules and then I'll be down to the jewellery that said I do still have my my lovely lady from the flea market who we have this socially distanced thing where she kind of goes up to her storage unit opens the door runs away a bit and then I go in and have a route and buy things off her because that's how she earns her living so um i'm not bulk buying for i've well i had a conversation with her and i said i know i i bulk bought a lot the last time there was a haul good luck looking forward to it um i did buy job lots of stuff and and i was able to sell them onto resellers and i was happy to do that and i was glad to have helped but of course this time around i think a lot more people are, are doing bulk and buying bulk and selling bulk and i've got a small house and it takes up a huge amount of room and it was very unpleasant for, for, for my other family members sharing a house with me to have the whole dining room just littered in piles of clothes while I sorted them through. Uh, so I kind of decided I probably wasn't going to do it this time unless somebody has a specific need. They're good labels. It's not it's not generally car markets. It's, it's half decent stuff, but you know, it's not going to be the top top end either. But if anybody is desperately interested, I can get them if you need um at a, at a reasonable rate um so let me know but i'm not pushing it out there because it's very hard work <laughs> but if somebody needs then i'm there pink madam <laughs> these are pink now i'm i'm kind of going to say that i've paid probably about two pounds an item because some of this is flea market stuff some of this is my charity shop stuff and uh, I don't remember because I've got that kind of a brain. I didn't actually have time to do hauls when I was collecting them because I was out so much. Oh, Kelly's in. Hello. Hope you're well. <laughs> uh, hope everybody's well, really. It's such a time. Isn't it? I, um, I mean, like, I think I've actually listed these now, but they're, they're reasonably decent money, but they were in such nice condition. I don't go mad scrubbing soles and things. I, I haven't got the time. They're pretty neat. Nice Nikes. The funny thing is most shoes that come through are size six. And funnily enough, that's my size. So I never have a problem finding shoes for me. So they were fun. I'll put those down there. Now, I'll show you the valance. These were some curtains I picked up. And I think I paid five pound a pair because this, this wasn't. But this design... It's very chintzy, isn't it? Cottage core. <laughs> I think Andrew would like those. Uh, this is just a balance of one set of curtains, which are a Sanderson uh, floral fabric. And I got one pair that's fairly wide, but not desperately long, and another pair that's kind of medium sized. So, because, but because they're Sanderson and they're lined and they're not a bad size. I thought they're going to go for more than five pounds a pair. I'm not cornering the curtains market. Never have done, Louise. <laughs> Indie chicken goes to Oh, someone's had a, a weekend, haven't they? I don't know if you heard that. It's a recycling bin getting filled with glassware. Um, so, yeah, they're nice curtains. Um, and I will pick them up for those decent ones, but they're also bloody heavy, aren't they? That's the only problem. You kind of go and buy the biggest thing in the shop. It is Sanderson Indy, eagle eyes that you've got there. There we go, just for you. There's the bigger curtain. <laughs> That's all right. You're quite right, they are. And they're really lovely if that kind of cottagey, Victorian y, chintzy thing is your bag. Not mine, per se, but hey, hey. Now, you know what? I'm eyeing up at the moment. We're doing my son's bedroom, so I've ordered his bed and everything, but. We're thinking of replacing the sofa in the living room. Now it's a sofa bed. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like someone set fire to India there, wasn't it? Oh, curtains. Oh, hello, Sam. Nice to see you. <laughs> Cottage girl. Yes. Um, and I'm after a, a, like a dark forest green velvet sofa. But I need a sofa bed because we don't have spare rooms for people to sleep in. Um, so I do need a sofa bed. But I've got a very, it's a not a big room. <laughs> so I'm kind of limited, but I don't want a tiny sofa. I want one that can get three people on, even if they're a bit cosy. Um, but I'm not having trouble. There's lovely ones where they have a bit that comes out. So you can like a chaise and you put your feet up. And I like that. But they're all just that, literally about that much too big, where they'd be poking halfway through the doorway. So I, <laughs> I gave up. I'll keep looking. Something will come. The universe will provide. <laughs> ah. It's lovely that everybody's in. We have such a lovely community. It's all good. Now, I picked this up. Again, I think this was a two pound job. I thought oh, helpful I'll put it around the right way. Although, to be fair, it's not a whole heap of difference. It's kind of like a parka. The elastic around the bottom. It smells lovely. There's one washing powder or conditioner or something, and I love the smell of it. And every time I go to the supermarket, I'm sniffing them all, trying to find the one, and I can't find it. <laughs> But it smells absolutely lovely. It's got one of these sort of kind of cow mix. And how's that for an eye boggling lining? I mean, dear God. <laughs> and it's by a company called Spoom. S P double O M. Very hard to see on the tag, but I, I looked it up because this logo is quite distinctive. And I think it's it's like a Danish or Scandinavian brand. So that's that wasn't that was worth picking up. I was quite happy with that. It's not a heavyweight thing. You know, sort of cotton lined and what have you, but I've got quite a lot of big heavy coats on this time of year, so it's good to have a variety, really. Sophology. Note taken. Thank you. It's the size of them that's the thing. And when they have got ones I quite like, they're sort of like over a thousand pounds, which are not, you know, okay. You know, the sofa we've got, we've probably had it for the best part of 20 years. It was kind of early IKEA, so it was really well made. But it's just a bit bulky and it's it's had better days now. It's time to move on. I will try Sophology. I will look. Um, I'm sort of funny about modern furniture. I know that sounds a bit odd. <laughs> I don't think it's terribly well made. Now this I picked up and it, it was it's yeah, probably a bit of a fail, but when you go around a shop on the last practically the last day, you're grabbing things. What attracted me with these birds? It's got a bird on it. <laughs> as a as um is it crazy lamp lady would say yeah, i do enjoy her her video it's just uh, relaxing oh um uh, but it's, the brand was a good one this is um i'll come back to you so i haven't forgotten the promise powell craft uh, stuff does go for decent money powell craft um it's a lovely dressing gown but it hasn't got its original belt so sadly I'm still going to sell it because someone can add in a little thin silk belt or something of their own, which I've suggested. But, you know, I've been very honest and said it hasn't. It's lost its original belt. But hey, ho, you know, this happens sometimes, doesn't it? Ah, hummingbirds. Yes, I do like a hummingbird. Oh, oh yes. Lex, Lex is having a good sort. Oh, you must be absolutely loving that. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, hello, Andrea or Nick or both. <laughs> <laughs> call everyone at lunchtime nice yes you need do need a cuppa <laughs> I, i've had one i've been using my see the thing is because i'm left-handed that's the side you see which is fine but that's the side <laughs> I, I, it depends where i put my cup if i can make space on my desk <laughs> so i'm the other person that bought this <laughs> not easy to explain to uh, my 14 year old son it has to be said <laughs> all wrong Land's End. I do pick these up. This is a downfield puffer. It is actually, it is that kind of puke millennium pink that I can't bear. And it's not quite as, the light's not doing any favours. It really, it's in better condition than it looks there. Um, but when they're downfield, these are gilet, as they say, body warmers. So it'll all get good, good money. You're sorting stuff to send now. I've never sent things to an auction. Wow. Good luck on the webinar, Susan. I will talk to you later, no doubt. If it goes well. 
<laughs> webinars. Gosh, I'm glad I don't have to do that sort of thing these days. Um, I know I did see something on the chat there. I think it was Sam was asking any more about the witchy chat. Still working on my friend. Um, she's a busy lady, bless her, but now that she's no longer doing her radio show because she can't go into the studio, I th I'm going to have to have, give her another prod. Um, <laughs> so it's going to take a while, but we're going to work on it. How many eggs are you making me hungry there? I forgot about food. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? This is vintage. Very, very rustly. Yes, very rustly. And that's Jerry Weber, Weber, whatever he's called. Shawl neck. Had quite a nice sleeve on it. I thought these are quite, um, people like these sort of sleeves. Very shiny. But, you know, when stuff's too quid, I'm, I'm not as over fussy as perhaps I should be. <laughs> but there you go. Anyone for a waistcoat? Bowden ones. Bowden ones do very well. Velvet with pinstripe back. This one's in green. There was one in green. And there's a purple one. I think I might have had or got or sold the purple one before. I might have one, actually. <laughs> uh, need to sort my wardrobe out. Here we go. That's got a pinstripe back on it, too. Uh, oh, Sam, no. Most beef and mustard, right? I'm that I'm well jealous. Can anyone any advance on a on a beef and mustard balm? Uh, is that a roll or a bap? <laughs> a roast beef and mustard balm. I, I know people who'd have trouble with that. I don't care what it is to take, but what you call it as long as it tastes good. <laughs> oh, right, I should have to back all these up this afternoon, won't I? Um. So, yeah, the witchy channels are working progress. Soon, hopefully soon. Um, I picked this up because it looked quite nice. It's an, it's an Australian brand. And it's... Uh, you, you probably won't be able to see it much. It's not terribly high value. David... Oh, hang on, I'm not showing you what I'm a David Lawrence. And it, it's it's got merino wool. It's merino wool. So it's a thin knit. And I always think thin knit quite good for layering up <laughs> here we go now no fighting please no fighting in the back row <laughs> oh hello dawn cherry ball hiya oh i'm giving you good sales vibes well let's spread let's spread the love to everybody where have we gone there we go sales vibes for all. <laughs> i love that uh, and this is another one that's um, David Lawrence. I think it's a slightly newer one, but it's a not front. Again, it, you know, nothing special, but they should sell fairly quickly. Um, I don't mind. Stuff like that should go. More thin jumpers. Another thin jumper. I was on a theme. Oh, dear. Intelligent zombie is laid up in peppy pain. Okay. Yeah, distraction is good. Doing something else. Absolutely vital. I hope it's a pain that goes and that there's nothing serious. Because there's pain and there's pain, isn't there, really? This is a, a Lauren Ralph Lauren green label, thin knit. It's a rather nice sort of scallopy high low hem. Quite like the colour of this, actually. It's, it's not as purple as it looks on there. I'm pretty sure it's a silk blend or something like that. There we go, Modal. I think it's related to cotton, isn't it? Silver, polyester, blah, blah, blah. Another thin knit. Yeah. Sending healing vibes to zombie there. <coughs> Bread cake. Now, that's a new one on me. I thought there was a BAP in Yorkshire. I, I, I can't remember. It's a long time since I've lived up there. Um, generally a roll here. It was a roll. It's a southern thing, isn't it? This is a very subtle Christmas jumper. See, you kind of get closer and you know, say, Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. No, happy Christmas. I thought that was quite cute. It, it's Lee, which I think has lost a lot of its oomph since it's sold at somewhere like Sports Direct, isn't it? <laughs> but I just thought that was quite nice. Quite decent. I think it's a men's, but um, there we go. Oh, we could have Wayne in. Hello and welcome. Oh, I believe the piles. I think I've got enough stuff here to do to do one more haul for you. Yeah, I think so. So we'll, we'll save some of it because we all need something to go on with, don't we? Hello, Lisa. This I can't really show you properly, but for £2, I was not going to leave it. 
It's a man's tan coloured crombie jacket. And of course, it, it's brilliant. It hasn't got a mark on it. And it's lovely vintage St. Michael. Pure new wool, a 42 inch chest, which I believe is a medium in modern sizing. That's just so uh, Arthur Daly, isn't it? <laughs> is it Arthur Daly who used to wear one of these? I don't really know, but it's proper dapper gent stuff. And it's just so nicely made. I wasn't going to leave that behind for £2. I hope somebody wants it. It'd be nice if somebody wanted it quite soon. Um, sales for me have all been a bit um, a bit bizarre, really. I uh, Very up and down again, but overall, not, not bad. Excuse me, that's just my phone. Um, I did sell, and something is worth keeping an eye out for, as and when you're allowed out to hunt or come across stuff, are actually hunting jackets, as in the riding jackets with the three metal buttons, and they're made up of a very stiff... They have a different feel to an ordinary jacket. They're, they're quite stiff feel. And I actually sold one for £150, because it happened to be a good make, um, which I didn't know when I bought it, but I think it was one of my £2 purchases. So that's going to go as like sale of the month. Obviously, it's um, <laughs> it's due to go out and it might come back because that happens. <sighs> oh, Charlotte Rabbit here from Carla's channel. There you go. There's there's Madame <laughs> and the mug. Um, make a good thumbnail if I knew how to do those. Uh, yes, lovely, lovely to come over from Carla. Um, She's got so many, so much content in hers at the moment, and mine, mine's very, very minor. But I'm, I'm keeping the amateur thing going. This is James Kelly Picker from, from Michigan. Oh wow! <laughs> Hello to America. I guess that must be it. Must be early in the morning for you. That's very odd. Yes, it must be early in the morning for you. <laughs> Or certainly in the morning. And we're, oh, thank you, Charlotte. It's, it's lovely to have subs. I'm, you know, I'm always pleased. <laughs> always pleased. It's it's fun doing these things. I must admit, I do quite enjoy it. Um, yeah. Um, how's life in America? Hopefully things are calming down a bit. 8:30 a.m. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's quite nice and bright and early. It's about uh, it's about half half one here. 22 in the afternoon. And the lunchtime I've also just missed, which is why my stomach is growling. If that's what you can hear, it's my stomach going, you forgot to eat again. It's like, dang. But there we go. I'm sure I'll have something. Larry. <laughs> is a conversation going on there that I know nothing about. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll tell you who I do like. Uh, and I watch, as well as uh, Margaret Tetzel's Girl Treasures, who, bless her, is wading through her own coronavirus nightmare right now. And I don't suppose she watches this, but if you do, Margaret, I do hope you get better soon. You're doing amazingly. I can't imagine what it's like to have this stuff. Ah, so Andrea's here. So, so Nick must have already been here watching. So hello both. <laughs> right. It gets very confusing. Chris and Larry, I'm Vicky Lubeld. Um, it's, oh man, lady with the amazing white hair from, I believe she's in Texas. Oh no, isn't that awful? Her name has gone. I've had a complete brain fart. Um, her name's completely gone. Does jewellery unjarrings because they have jewellery jars there, don't they? Absolutely love her stuff. And I can see her name, but it's not coming to me. So that's, I'm getting old. This is really bad. Thelma, Thelma, that's the one. <laughs> it is Thelma. I think she's brilliant. I think she's absolutely hilarious and she really knows her stuff. And man, what they pay for their stuff though. Was it like $80 for a jewelry jar? I'm thinking, oh, you've got to get some decent stuff in there for that to pay off. That's <laughs> like, ouch. But hey, it's very entertaining watching her. And I am watching more YouTubes as, as I'm doing my listings. I'm finding, you know, in need of the distraction. Um, I'm watching Zaheer's progress with his shop and Kirsten with her shop had to shut and how they're how they're coping and keeping going. I think everyone is doing absolutely bloody brilliantly for getting the heads around this and making sure it all works out. Anyway, I'm, I have finished the haul of that bag, I believe. Oh no, hang on, there's more. There is more. Do you want some more or have you had enough? <laughs> What do you say? I don't want to bore anybody. 
Dear God, I probably do that enough in real life, to be fair. Uh, oh, I found a pair of, um, I think I kept these for me and then decided not to. <laughs> You've got to, I will watch yours, Callie Picker. I will make a note and make sure I sub because I'm not sure I am. I do, I do watch a few Americans. Uh, some of the dumpster diving. Man, we can't do that here. I am so envious because I'd love to dumpster dive. They're just crag hoppers, um, solar dry. And I thought, how do you tell if they're solar dry? Because they actually tuck it inside the fly and say they're solar dry. Um, I picked them thinking they'd suit me, but they're not. They're the blokes. So they don't work on me at all. Um, so I should get those listed and consider them, consider them free. Oh, and, uh, I can mix my bags up now. I've been keeping them separate. Just me, Kathy. Oh, right. Okay. Right. I'm all... However, I love the dumpster diving. It's amazing what people find. And we're, you know, legally not allowed. I think if someone's got a, uh, what do they call them, skip on their drive or something, you have to go and knock on the door and ask, which also was a little bit kind of squeaky bum time. Um, but, but the fact that people just put stuff out on their front yard, on the pavement, and you can go and pick it up, or you can go around these big shops and find things. Just amazing. It's a whole nother world. A little more. Oh, well, Alexa's more than why not? OK, I'm going to pick up a Gant any time I see it when it's two pounds a go. Um, I don't pay a lot. I won't pay a lot for Gant because it can be very variable. A lot of people are selling it. But for two quid, and this is a nice, um, they call it brush twill. It's kind of a flannel finish. Rather like that. That'll go well. Perfect for the time of year. Now, this is a brand I do not see very often. But if I do, and it's in good nick, because half the time it is worn to absolute shit. <laughs> it's completely roasted out. Is Turnbull and Assa. Uh, real proper Savile Row stuff. Uh, they're very, very expensive new. They are incredibly well made. And I, whenever I find them, they do sell. They do go well. Um, and for two pounds, which is what that one came in at, I'm very chuffed. You have to check all around the cuffs and the collar because when people get these, they wear them right out because they, you know, people just don't want to throw anything away, which I think is a good thing. Oh, I've made a white mess in it. It's going to take me ages to sort this out. This I picked up and I wasn't sure why at the time because it's not my colour at all. I mean, it's sort of pinky. What's that on there? Uh, you know, you sort of see something out of... No, there isn't anything on there. It's just... My stomach is fairly howling at me. Anyway, it's a jumper. That actually isn't a bad brand. Monari? Again, I I don't know very much about it, but it seems to go for decent money, so quite happy with that. But it was a jumper, so I wasn't going to look, look that in the eye. Oh, donates things yeah because there's so much stuff that you know can just be reused isn't there that you think why chuck it out why don't these companies actually just give their stuff directly to the charities what why you know i mean it's lovely that someone goes and dumpster dives it but i've heard that they cut things and and throw indelible paint on things so that it can't be reused and it's immoral in my book absolutely bloody immoral oh these were nice too well not my size, clearly. Men's shorts, and they're Gantt again. I'll pick up Gantt any time I see it, as long as I'm not overpaying, because, again, the price is so very valuable. <laughs> more please. <laughs> ah. More please. Chill W cat. It must be a little symbol that comes up as a word. <laughs> I liked this. I liked this. <laughs> Yeah, food pantry, amazing. Now this looks like any old waistcoat, but once again, it's very fancy, different color buttons, all aged, pink and purple, not really my style, very satiny on the back. But this brand is a goodie. Again, I very rarely find it. And look, it helpfully tells you the model, the Lucinda satin waistcoat. I think that's Lucinda Pry Palmer, isn't it? It was a famous um show jumper um it is a really beautiful fabric that goes for quite a bit of money and i was very pleased to find that for me two quid um i've never found one before like that but rydale is a good brand yeah 
just just throwing things away just that wasteful unthinking heartless approach to the economy which is is so unnecessary you know they've made their money why can't they just give it away that was <laughs> it's always that dream isn't it give it away give it away now okay right this was new with its tags i got this from my flea market lady so it was about two pounds two pounds fifty um and it's oh my phone's gonna go i think hubby's gonna get that up because it's next door don't recognize the number they're probably trying to sell me something uh it doesn't go for a great deal of money but it's new and it should be a reasonably quick flip kirkland is a fairly good brand by and large i've sold their cashmere before now i can hear movement i hope it's not for me i don't want to buy ah now this i picked up not because i'm a fan of ariana grande and yes it is back to front it's not just me uh, that's something says something like no tears left to cry I'm quite good at mirror reading and writing thankfully um, it's from a, from a tour that she did and it's actually a man's extra large which is unusual though anyone can be a fan of Ariana Grande I wouldn't have thought that was a major demographic but hey ho I picked it up for a couple of quid and thought something I want that ah <sighs> Oh, the waistcoat <laughs> yeah it's it's a thing i i am partial to a waistcoat especially with a nice silk blouse with a big sleeve it's 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 a good look love it i just don't bother really so much these days which is very poor of me but there we go you knew a last that worked for gant wow okay only where this season can oh that's that's awful oh what a shocking company oh my god <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think it will. <laughs> uh, yes, well, I hope Ellen's sales are going well. She's got some, built, makes some amazing stuff, doesn't she, in her shops. This is super dry. I actually bought this uh, for my son. Or did he have it and then give it back to me? I can't really remember. Um, it's, it's a good enough size and he's only 14 and this is supposed to be a men's large. Super dry, don't make things big. But actually, it wasn't long enough. He likes he likes really loose stuff that's warm and cosy. But I just don't want to want that. I'll pick things up on the off chance for him. He has very plain tastes in clothing, I think it's fair to say. The indelible ink thing, yeah. It's 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 horrible when you find out a company that is is a very high-end company that you think because they're charging so much for the clothes that they would treat their staff in that well you know you kind of expect some of the lower end places to be less than ethical perhaps i mean it kind of goes with the territory but a lot of the high end ones are the same right my final piece from that haul which must have been another days is the classic fat face early sweatshirt thing um this smells really nice oh i don't know what they're using absolutely fabulous I do like a bit of fat face and um, my hubby loves fat face so I know how expensive they are new and these are kind of they're bread and butter things they go well um, it's a long sleeve zippy top and they always look a bit sort of battered and worn out but they start their life that way it's not just it's not just that's how they turn out oh and the other thing I think I picked up because I can't leave behind a really cool leather jacket um, yeah it's kind of cool it's a nice leather jacket it's actually missing a couple of buttons but what i've done is there were some spare buttons so although i can't replace them all i can make it look decent and declare it but it's so soft it's just cool i just love all this sort of stuff i like my vintage i like yeah i like stuff like that i'll put that to one side because i must do something down it and then I've got my Hobbs, the Hobbs shirt. Now, I, I got this all drafted up and then I accidentally had fat fingers and deleted the draft. So now I've got to do it all over again. <laughs> Talk about making work for myself. Just ridiculous. Um, so, yes, that's it for that. I will save that stuff for another day because I think... I can't say when... Has he copyrighted it? He's probably got, he's probably, probably got a badge with it on that. <laughs> and, and why not? I don't know. Do we say bread and butter stuff, everyday stuff? It's the stuff that turns over. 
um, I try and have as little bread and butter stuff as I can in my shop and go for the really good stuff. But, you know, we can't always be so picky and it's all good stuff anyway. Um, I've got another Gantt shirt here that I, I need to wash this. Again, when you're going at speed in a shop, it's a kind of an odd pinky colour. I did my usual checking the colour and what have you. Looked at it. Unfortunately, one of the armpits, and, and bizarrely only one, has, you can't really see it on this, but it's just slightly, I'm going to try and get that out because it's worth it on the Gantt, but uh, many's the time, especially when I've been doing these when they've had two pound days and you've had to go and kind of move quite quickly um, sort of to get around everything. Um, you know, I, I've, I find that I've got more errors creeping in, if you like, but at those sort of prices, I don't mind. You know, if I was shelling out, I mean, normally they'd be trying to sell that for probably four, four pounds, four pound fifty, in which case I probably wouldn't buy it unless it was something very special. And gravy. <laughs> yes, gravy. I like lots of gravy. I think I'm greedy. I like a lot of gravy um, and I try and get as much of it as I can. But it is it's not always easy. You, you know, I'm very fortunate with the charity shops I've had here. Um, I'm very fortunate with the contacts I've got. I've got one new contact who was about to supply me with some stuff um, who I will get in touch with because maybe we can do it again. So a bit socially distanced, just like um I do with my other lady where I go and literally will pick through bags and then I re-bag it all and buy what I've got and then she's got it all bagged and ready to go to somebody else and she hasn't got to touch it and that that kind of works in terms of being sort of COVID safe and being responsible but it's quite nice to have have somewhere to go and pick stuff and I do have a little bit of a backlog of jewellery <laughs> yeah I'm cut with the jewellery I'm sort of I'm not exactly saving it but I am stockpiling it a bit because I know there's going to be time when I'm not going to want to go outsourcing. Maybe I won't feel particularly well. Maybe I'll want to do other things. Maybe I won't want to do clothes anymore. So I've kind of got a, a, a cushion of stuff that I know that however I change my business model, that is always there in the meanwhile. Oh, hello, Aid. You've wandered in. You're late. You need to go and stand in the corner uh, because I'm about to go. <laughs> but it's nice to see you. Hi, Gingerwit. <laughs> Yeah, it's taken a long time. I mean, I have been reselling now for, oh, I think I'm in my fifth, sixth year of full time. And I was doing it for quite a while before that, uh, sort of part time ish and in a very amateur fashion. Although some would say I'm still doing it in an amateur fashion, but hey ho. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, and Carla's wandered in late. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> You're probably having lunch or actually doing something constructive. Um, I was just putting off bagging all my stuff and did a mini haul. So you can, if you're interested, you can watch that. But it is mostly clothes. And I know how much you like clothes. <laughs> you just love them, don't you? So on that note, I'm going to wander off unless anyone has any particular questions or, or anything that they think I might be able to help with. God only knows. <laughs> I, th I, th I think you'll both be squeezing into that corner. Leaving that there. And now we're in the middle of packing. Well, hey, yeah, I've got to do the same. My, my flipping garage is absolutely full to the gunnels. And I've ordered some more bags from Ikea with the stuff that's coming for my son. They haven't turned up yet. They're supposed to be here today. They've got until, I think, 11 o'clock tonight to get them to me. Um, because I have more stuff that needs to go into bags and there's no room in the existing bags and they're getting stacked so high now that some of them actually come up to here. So when I want the bag at the bottom, I've got to move about seven very heavy large bags and my, my muscles, I, you know, I, guns, we are talking guns here. <laughs> Seriously, but I really have to be careful with my back and not twist and lift at the same time. I have to remember that and not forget because I'll do myself a damage. <laughs> so there we go <laughs> oh dear here come the comments <laughs> so I hope you guys are all looking after yourselves staying safe and keeping with it don't don't let it grind you down <laughs> it's a very tiny virus and we're bigger than that so I will see you all soon for the next haul which really will be the last one because until Thursday when I go and get a bit more. So I will see you all later. Tutty bye. Take care.
and I will end this forecast. I won't leave my own studio and flounce off without leaving properly. Here we go, here we go. I'm about to leave and, and I'm 